main topic that we will focus on today for the life span of the gospel the diseases that it transmits or carries with it and I hope you will enjoy this presentation thank you Grasshopper's life cycle. The mother grasshopper lays fertilized eggs in midsummer, and they remain one or two inches under the sand or in leaf litter. She sprinkles them with a sticky semi solid substance that sets to form an egg pod. Each egg pod contains 15 to 150 eggs, depending on the species. Normally, a female grasshopper can lay up to 25 pods. The eggs remain underneath for about 10 months in autumn and winter before hatching into nymphs during spring or in the initial days of summer. The nymph. This is the second stage of the grasshopper's life cycle and the initial stage during which a young grasshopper sees the outside world. Nymphs look like adult grasshoppers, called molds, apart from the fact that they are wingless and lack reproductive organs. They undergo five sub-stages known as instars before fully developing into adult crash hoppers. Each instar is characterized by shedding of the cuticle skin and gradual growth of wings. In order to survive, nymphs start to feed on succulent and soft plant foliage barely one day after hatching from the egg. This stage lasts for about five to six weeks before the young nymphs mature to adult crash hoppers. Molting Molting takes place during the nymph stage. The locust sheds its exoskeleton before maturing into an adult. While the exoskeleton covers the nymph's body, providing it with protection against external injuries, it inhibits its growth because of its rigidity and inability to give room for expansion. The nymph has to shed it in order to achieve growth. It undergoes five to six molds in which it changes its structure and form before reaching adulthood. The adult. This is a fully grown grasshopper. It takes about one month before the wings are fully developed. The mature grasshopper is more mobile than the nymph, a characteristic that helps them to hunt and flee from predators. The reproductive organs are fully grown, so the females can lay eggs and the males can fertilize. However, female grasshoppers do not lay eggs until they are one or two weeks old, to allow them to gain enough weight before they start laying eggs. Once she starts laying eggs, the female continues to lay eggs at intervals of three to four days until she dies. Adult grasshoppers live for about two months, depending on the weather. Diseases associated with the grasshopper. They may carry nematodes, which is why you should cook them before eating them if possible. Otherwise, they are harmless. They have no stingers, and don't bite, hard. They can hop all over you and you'll be just fine. However, their poop can harbor bacteria or fungi that can make you sick if you eat too much of it. One colorful speculation is that in ancient Egypt, a plague of locusts covered fields in poop, which were moistened by a plague of hailstorms and fermented in a plague of darkness such that the wheat was poisoned by whatever was in the dung. This poisoned wheat became poisoned bread which was predominantly fed to Egyptian firstborn during times of famine and which is one explanation for a certain plague of the death of the firstborn. In other words, this is the entomologist's explanation of Exodus. This is the end of my presentation, I hope you have learned a lot from it. <laughs>